what part of a tree became a part of me. Trees are all around us. They are important every day to humans and wildlife. One of the many benefits of trees is the food that they provide. Trees and their products can be used for food by a huge number of wildlife species. When animals feed on trees and their products, pieces of the tree are digested and become part of the animal's body to be used for energy, structure, or other functions. So what part of a tree became a part of me? Let's find out by looking at some examples. If you are a downy woodpecker, eastern chipmunk, white-footed mouse, mallard, wild turkey, white-tailed deer, Eastern Gray Squirrel, Wood Duck, Raccoon, or Blue Jay, it could be acorns. Acorns are the fruits of oak trees. They contain a seed of the tree enclosed by a protective coating and covered with a thick cap. Acorns are full of nutrients. They are big and easily eaten. They can be found on the tree or on the ground around the tree for a long period of time. Some animals store acorns to eat at a later time. Many other trees produce fruits used for food by animals too. They include wild black cherry, hickories, persimmon, red mulberry, hackberries, and crab apples. If you are a bumblebee, carpenter bee, sweat bee, tiger swallowtail butterfly, or one of our other pollinating insects, it could be nectar or pollen. Nectar and pollen are produced in the flowers of trees. Nectar is a sweet liquid used to attract pollinators. These animals pick up pollen as they feed on the nectar and transfer the pollen to other flowers as they move about. The pollinating animals help the plants to produce seeds. Some animals eat pollen too. Many trees in Illinois produce flowers. Examples that are especially important to pollinators include redbud, flowering dogwood, catalpa, and tulip tree. Some animals, such as aphids, Japanese beetles, and northern cardinals, feed on the entire flower. If you are a bark beetle, wood boring beetle, termite, eastern cottontail, American beaver, or white-tailed deer, it could be bark, twigs, or the other woody parts of the tree. Some animals, like the American beaver, feed mainly on the bark. In the spring and fall, about half of the beaver's diet is woody material. In winter, though, its diet is composed almost entirely of woody items. Eastern cottontails tend to feed on bark in the winter when conditions are harsh and other food sources are not available. Most bark beetles live, feed, and reproduce in dead, weakened, or dying trees. Termites eat dead trees. If you are a northern cardinal, American goldfinch, white-tailed deer, eastern fox squirrel, or eastern cottontail, it could be tree buds. A bud is an undeveloped plant shoot. They are nutritious, plentiful, and easy to find. If you are a tiger swallowtail larva, zebra swallowtail larva, hackberry butterfly larva, leaf mining insect larva, Japanese beetle or katydid, it could be tree leaves. Leaves are not as nutritious as the other tree parts, and in Illinois they are available as a food source only part of the year. Leaf mining insect larvae live in a leaf as they eat it. They are protected from predators by doing so. You can see where they have moved in the leaf by the tunnel pattern that appears on the leaf. The fall webworm moths larvae make a webbed nest in trees in which they feed on leaves. If you are a yellow-bellied sapsucker, ruby-throated hummingbird, ant, red-admiral butterfly, comma-butterfly, 
Morning Cloak Butterfly, Question Mark Butterfly, Hackberry Butterfly, or many native bee species, it could be sap. Tree sap is a liquid that usually flows inside the tree. There are two types of sap. Sap that is flowing up the tree from the roots contains mainly water, minerals, and nutrients. Sap flowing from the upper parts of the tree to the roots has water, sugars made by the leaves, and other chemicals. If there is a crack or other opening in the tree, sap sometimes escapes from the inside of the tree. Butterflies, bees, and ants are among the species that feed on sap. The yellow-bellied sapsucker is a bird that drills rows of tiny holes in tree bark where sap can escape. It eats the sap, but it also comes back to feed on insects that have come to eat the sap. You are a sap eater too if you eat maple syrup. If you are a cicada larva, clear wing moth larva, or aphid, it could be roots. Tree roots are usually underground, but some trees have at least some of their roots above the surface of the soil. If this is the case, they may be eaten by small mammals. Cicada larvae feed on underground tree roots for many years before converting to the adult insect. Some aphids are developed to feed on underground roots.